An alarmingly strong start to this year's flu season has doctors warning everyone to get a flu shot. Yeah, that word comes as many pharmacies are reporting shortages of cold and flu medicines. New Six's Lauren Cervantes is live in studio right now. So, Lauren, what did one local doctor tell you about this flu increase? Well, a local physician is encouraging anyone that hasn't gotten their flu shot yet to do so, telling me it's not too late and that the flu is expected to be around a few more months. It's not perfect. However, what we do know is that those who've obtained the flu shot do better, uh, meaning that if you were to contract the flu, you will have lesser of that disease state. Dr. Kevin Kuriakos, a physician and the medical director for children's asthma, lung and sleep specialists, commenting on the flu shot. I've been telling people even today as we're seeing seeing the kids and families, letting them know that they should if they haven't already gotten. He says with flu cases steadily increasing and some pharmacies seeing a shortage in over-the-counter medications, there are still ways parents can help their kids. Hydration is the key. Um, so hydration is very important when you get dehydrated and it's very quick to get dehydrated then things do tend to be worse. They feel worse, it lingers longer, so the body does need. So when you, the key is going to be hydration. Dr. Kuriako says at the first sign of symptoms, it's good to get checked by a doctor, adding that medications like Tamiflu can help. But I asked him if they are still seeing a shortage in prescriptions. It's a hit or miss. And a lot of that is it depends on when they get their shipments, um, supply chains. Uh, so. Sometimes I've had patients obtain it, sometimes they're having trouble obtaining it, um, so it's constantly changing. Dr. Kuriako says a way to help prevent the flu is to avoid crowded areas or wear a mask, especially while traveling. Lisa. Lauren, thank you.